Hello guys, this is me, Dr. Kashan Kasi today here to discuss the topic of the blood. We have discussed the RBCs, uh, polycythemia and the ESR in my previous lecture. Uh, we have discussed the erythrocyte sedimentation rate, the normal value and the methods involved in the determination. Now today we are going to discuss the PCV and the blood indices. What is PCV? PCV is the pack cell volume. It is actually the proportion of the blood which is occupied by the RBCs and it is expressed in a percentage form. Usually the normal value of the PCV is 45%. It ranges between 40 to 45 percent in the males while in female it is usually lower that is 38 to 42 percent. It is also called the hematocrit value. Hematocrit value and PCV are both uh, are the same things. These both terms are same. So coming to its significance, it is actually uh, allowing us to diagnose and treat the different diseases like anemia, polycythemia, which is the increased RBC count. The decision of the blood transfusion in a patient or a person, uh, these are the significance of the PCV. These are the normal PCV values and these are the condition in which the PCV increases uh, like polycythemia, dehydration and dengue fever syndrome. This uh, polycythemia is the increased RBC count which I have discussed in previous lecture that it may be due to the pathological condition and it can be due to the physiological conditions. Uh, dehydration is the condition we all know the uh, third one here is the dengue fever which is caused by the flavivirus and transmitted through the mosquito called the Aedes aegypti. So these are the conditions in which the PCV value usually increases. While these are the conditions in which the PCV value usually decreases. Number one is the anemia, the second one is the pregnancy and the third one is the ectopic pregnancy or a cirrhosis of the liver. In all these conditions the PCV value decreases while in these conditions the PCV value increases. Next we are going to discuss the blood indices. Blood indices are the calculation derived from the RBC count, hemoglobin content in the blood and from the PCV. Here are some blood indices. Number one is the MCV that is the mean corpuscular volume. The second one is MCA, the third one is MCAC and the last one is the color index. Coming to the first one that is MCV, mean corpuscular volume. It is the average volume of a single RBC. It is usually expressed in a cubic microns. The normal value ranges between 78 to 90 cubic microns. When MCV value increases, the cells are called microcytes, while when it decreases, the cells are called microcytes. In a condition like pernicious anemia and megaloblastic anemia, the cells are macrocytic, that is MCV is increasing. While in a condition like iron deficiency anemia, the cells are microcytic and the MCV value decreases. Coming to the next one that is the MCH mean corpuscular hemoglobin. It is the quantity of hemoglobin present in a single RBC. It is usually expressed in a picogram. Its normal value ranges between 27 to 32 picograms. The next one is the MCHC mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration and its normal value ranges between 30 to 38 percent because it is expressed in relation to the volume that's why it is the concentration which is expressed in relation to the volume of RBC that's why it is expressed in a percentage. So when the MCHC is decreasing the cells are hypochromic. In a condition like the pernicious anemia and megaloblastic anemia, the cells are macrocytic and normochromic or hypochromic, while in iron deficiency anemia, the cells are microcytic and hypochromic. The last one here is the color index and it is the ratio between the percentage of the hemoglobin and percentage of the RBC in the blood. This is all about the color indices of the blood. So next we are going to discuss the type of the anemias what is anemia in my next video thank you for watching